recognize her as a pet. He <laughs> barks at her. Welcome to TNTT. For Tiny Things Thursday this week, um, we will compare these two robots, Cosmo and Dash. So this is TNTT Christmas edition, possible Christmas gifts that your kids may really, really want this Christmas. Okay, okay so we got, we got Dash and we got Cosmo. We got Dash last year, and the um, reason we got him is because the whole coding craze was just starting to ramp up, and I thought, the kids would get a good opportunity to learn how to interact with this toy because it's not just a remote control toy, it's a programmable toy that they can grow with. Uh, same with this little guy, which actually has a little bit more features than this one. It has a facial recognition camera, so you program your face into it and your family's and it rolls around, recognizes you, says your name. You guys want to demonstrate those things? Yes, please. Okay, Ella, you can go first. Ella, you I'll have... I will start talking. I will start talking. You'll start oh. walking. And which one do you have, Ella? Howdy do. <laughs> What's your robot called? Dash. Oh. And he also changes colors. He changes colors? Mm -hmm. Did he come with anything? He came with these little pieces. And at the top, there's like this Lego part where you can build Legos onto it and you attach them to these little holes because there's like a little round pot and he, he can roll around with Legos on him. So what do you use to control them out? We use a computer. A tablet. A tablet. So it's either an Android or an iOS device. Okay. You can use either an iPad, iPhone, or any Android, Android phone. I'm going to make him see something. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. well. He might roll off the table because I'm not very good at controlling him. You might see how durable he is. I want to put it on low speed. Yeah, there's speeds. What color do you want him to be? How about blue? How about blue? I like blue. Okay. What can you do with him, Ella? I can change him colors. I can move his head around. <laughs> And I can also, on this app, you can also ch hit this voice message and you can type in a number, then um, you, it will go to like a voice message thing. You just hit this and you'll say one, two, three. And that will, it will say it when it records. Whatever you record it to say? Yeah. Okay. It will say it when it records. No, please don't capture me. That's the first one we said. <laughs> That's cool. That's what Ava. Hey! It was your idea. That's what you think. Whatever I say, I would like to do. Whatever I say, I would like to do. <laughs> so, basically, you record something on the tablet, it saves it, and it sends it to Dash. I think it's transferring. Whatever I say, I would like to do. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you buy stuff with Dash? Yes, he does not come with this, but at the store there's like a little launcher, you attach it to him, it has those little round parts, and it's a little launcher, and if you put his head like down, or up, uh -huh. it'll launch up, but there is really an app to launch it, really. And what do you launch? A ball. You can go to the store and pick out a couple things, which are roughly... 30, 35 bucks. So this is a, a launcher that you can attach to him. It comes with his headpiece and a piece that goes on the back. You gonna demonstrate it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Show us how it works. Whoa! Oh. I almost got one. <laughs> Good job. So, Dash costs $149. Not sure how much the new version costs, and we haven't really checked out the new version. These might be on sale now because it's obviously Christmas season, holiday season. So you could potentially find it for way less than that. What do you like about Dash, Ella? Um, he can change colors, whatever color you really want him to change. <clears throat> he can shoot balls. And you can also build stuff on him. Yeah, that's one of the cooler features, right? Yeah. He comes with these Lego attachments that you can take any of your Lego sets and build off and create whatever you want on top of it. Like him. a building or... 
like a, a scoop to collect your toys and clean up your playroom, right? <laughs> or like a seat for your Barbies. Yeah. Yeah, it fills there. it with Legos. Yeah, which opens up a whole lot of new possibilities. You picked up cute. That. That. <laughs> <laughs> He is a new robot. You can get him on an iPhone, any type of device. Yeah, he's very playful too. Seems like he's got more of an attitude than Dash, right? Yeah, he's kind of like a pet. Okay, so when you get him, you'll get an app, and it has this chart. There is a, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you have to fill up the chart to make him like ready to play. There's three bars, right? One is his maintenance bar. Yes. You gotta maintain him. One is you gotta feed him, a and then you gotta play, play with him. bar? Okay, I'm gonna tell you about each bar. He's like a pet, so you have to feed him every day. So the blue part is the feed. So over here, it'll say feed, so I'm gonna hit feed. And it gives you directions on how to feed him. Grab any cube that is plushing blue. So this one is plushing blue, so I grab it. Shake the cube until all light glows brightly. Place the cube where Cosmo can see it so he can feed himself. He calls it Pandunda or something. He's gonna eat. Somehow he sucks up the energy. He wants more because the chart is not full. So I'm gonna take another cube, so I'm gonna shake it. When he eats, his lift will come up and onto it. And once he's full, he'll kind of sometimes go crazy for some reason. I don't know. Now the second thing he needs is tune-up. It's called tune-up. And it is the red part. So what it will do is scan Cosmo. So you wanna hit scan Cosmo. And what it will do is show you a pattern and you'll have to go down, 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 up. Do whatever the pattern. Once you're done with it and you didn't do anything wrong, you hit send and he'll realize that little thing and he'll do it with whatever he has. If it's his head, he'll shake his head. If it's his lift, he'll do his lift. So now I have another one. Down, 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 up, send. He only says, Is your head oh. calibrated now too? <laughs> okay, so once he's all tuned up, you'll see on his scan that everything is calibrated or sees so clearly. So that bar is all the way to the top. It's all the way to the top. It's full. So next, hit the yellow part is play. You want to play? Okay, see? So he prefers to play keep away. Yes. He needs to face me. Now, slowly push the cube towards Cosmo, but not too close. So what the goal of the game is to push it, but he can't tap it. This is a tough game, actually. I've played it, and it's oh, always mm -hmm. lost. I've once won with him. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, because see, no one has points. I got Ooh, one very good. <laughs> Let me try. You gotta slowly move it towards him, right? Not too close. He's gonna tap it. Oh. Ah, you got it. <laughs> I think he's challenging me. It says Cosmo. Oh, uh, he wants to fist bump. bump. He wants to fist bump. Aww. <laughs> he likes his bones. Cosmo, he wants to pounce on your finger. Want to pounce on my finger? Oh wow, this is gonna hurt. Wow. It doesn't hurt. Though so he's pretty interactive as or Very. interactive. It's kind of like a pet. How much does Cosmo cost? 170. 179. So about 180. So another thing Cosmo can do is you can type in your name on Meet Cosmo once you just get him. And you can type in your name and you have to look at him in the eye. 
Don't move. And he'll memorize your name by face. Watch out. Okay, so let's add you. Oh, Thank then we'll do you, okay? Day. Yeah. Okay, so add new person. E L O. Okay, let him stare at you. Let him just stare. That's another thing you can do with him. You punch in some text and he'll say it. But uh, Dash also does that too, Dash right? Dash does do that as well. But the cool thing about Cosmo, when he's in, in a different mode, like he ever said, he'll roll around, he'll roam around. You want to show it to us? Is it a starter? Oh, yeah. He'll roam around and just explore his surroundings. And when he sees a face that's already programmed into his memory bank, he'll say, oh, Ava. Oh, Ava. Ava. What's up? No, uh, no, that's that person. Good question. When he sees that person, when he if he knows it's on. Well, remember it when you first get him, you set it up through the app. You punch in the person's name. He looks at you, recognizes you, and remembers you. Okay. So another cool thing that we haven't really discovered yet is called SDK mode, which is um, software developer kit, development kit. I think it is. And it's very advanced, actually, so I've messed with it very, very little. But some of the things he does, he turns into an alarm clock, he turns into a, a desk guardian, so you'll let him roam around your desk. And when he sees a person he doesn't recognize, he can tweet you. Mm -hmm. So he's got features like that, which are really cool, that we still yet to discover. Well, I wanted to discover that. Yeah. Okay, so in conclusion, guys, um, Ella, you're, how old are you? Six. And you play mostly with Cosmo or Dash? Which one do you kind of prefer right now? Dash, because he's like this type of age group. You like him better for... It, it would be a, like a start off. Because... Is it a beginner robot? Yeah, because he's easier than Cosmo because when you... When you play on Cosmo, you gotta read what it says in some... Some little kids don't know how to read, so this would be a start off. That's a very good point, Ella. Ava, how old are you? Eight. And I'm nine. if which one do you prefer? Well, I prefer Cosmo because he's a more advanced robot. But I really like Dash. I I would I like Dash a little bit more because he has all these um, accessories, like there's. Uh, xylophone. He has the um, launcher. It's just so many um, accessories. It's just I used to play with him, but now I'm a little older. He Cosmo's more advanced for me, so I kind of prefer him at my age right now. Okay. So I'm, I'm this Manny, <laughs> and I this is actually as the man who actually bought these things. This is actually for me, and it was stolen from me. And now it's an excuse for me to give this to my children. Mm -hmm. And I think this guy, both have great features, but I think this guy has a lot more advanced features as you as you develop. He won't fall off the table, he's got a sensor. She's overprotective with this little guy. But he's got a sensor that when he comes to the ledge, the, the edge of the table, he won't fall off, he'll back up. Um, facial recognition is huge. He recognizes up to six or eight people, right? It's like ten or eight. One of the coolest things I witnessed with him is that he can dif differentiate between a human and a pet. So one day he was rolling around and he saw our dog. He came up to her and started barking at her, which was we didn't <laughs> even like, program that into his into his commands. <laughs> so he just that, saw uh, her and went. Wah! That was hilarious. Oh, I thought that was so the coolest funny. thing ever. So. Um, yeah, so we can grow with the kid. When, you know, they can board, get bored with these games. They can learn more, develop more. There's coding you can do with this guy. You can program his, his movements. So a lot to discover with this little guy. 
Um, a lot of people don't say it's a toy, it's more of a, like a, a little rolling computer. So in conclusion, I mean, if you have a kid younger than... Eight or ten. If you have a kid younger than eight or ten, both of these are great. I think this guy is a little bit more robust, as you can tell. It's very solid. Um, just one moving part, aside from the wheels. Comes with a couple accessories and a few more that can be bought separately. Um, like I said, the app is great. It has many different levels to it that we haven't discovered all of them yet. But just like this guy, you can the kid grows with it. So they can start out with the basic movements and get into the, the whole development mode. Uh, there's different different levels you go through, so the more you play, the more you learn, the more advanced the app becomes. And similar to this, but I think this guy is a little bit more advanced. Um, facial recognition is one of the biggest features, and the whole SDK software development kit is huge. So um, this one will go further. So you can get two types of accessories for Cosmo. There is this um, bag, it's pretty soft, and in it you can place these three cubes. Is a spot for his charger and one thing once you want to play with him he needs to be on his charger to wake him up that's a good point you put you can't start him off without the charger so he needs to be plugged in sitting on the charger for you to start playing with him and one thing that I noticed and was kind of actually disappointed in is you know, as you can see these cubes have icons on, on them and he reads these icons and recognizes them recognizes them as interaction toys the charger also has an icon, which made me believe that he, when he, was running, when he was running low on battery, he would back up himself on the charger and charge himself. He doesn't do that. Supposedly there's something in the SDK mode that can be tweaked or can be programmed, but I haven't uh, looked into that yet. So okay, as Ava was saying, there's a couple accessories you can get. This is separate. Oh, and another accessory you can get, um, his treads. Treads, yeah. yeah he, see, he gets upset with me. His treads, you can get different colors, like there's orange at Target, I saw some different colored treads. So you can buy those and just attach them on. They're different colors. It's like a set of about six different colors. So you can get that and the case. So with Dash you can buy more accessories. With Dash you can buy a couple accessories that are interactive, like the launcher or he plays a musical instrument. With this guy, it's more of a protective carrying case for travel and um, decorative treads. I think this was 30 bucks, the treads were 15. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, both of these grow with your kid. They can start out with just simple functions of roaming around, playing with your pets, um, chasing the cat around, to, <laughs> to actually doing some coding, which we haven't touched yet, we haven't messed around with that, but I know those features are there and that's why I feel like the, they won't get bored with this really fast. These uh, are developmental toys, they're not just, you know, something will play with and throw in the corner after a few hours. They'll keep playing with them, they'll find new new uh, features, they'll discover new features and uh, kind of um, discover new things to do with them. So they'll last for quite some time, I think. And uh, the cool thing about this guy, uh, Anki, the company that made them, um, updates their software regularly. So they develop new functions and features and automatically send out updates to the users, notify them so that way you can update the robot and discover new features as well. We'll catch you guys next Thursday. See ya. Bye. Like and subscribe. That's pretty cool, Ava. <laughs>